Hi quilters, today's show is all about the now permanent Go Palm 8 inch finish die. Stay tuned for plenty of tropical inspiration. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica Bopker, AccuQuilts Creativity Expert. All right, welcome to today's launch party called Keep Palm and Quilt On. Today we are relaunching the Go Palm die as it joins our permanent die collection. That's right. We'll also be joined by very special guest, Barbara Brackman. I can't wait to hear what she has to share about this block. Oh, me too, Erica. We have plenty more in store as well. We have some bright prizes some easy breezy project ideas, and a tropical trunk show. Well, let's not wait any longer. Let's learn about the now permanent Go Palm Dye. Oh, the commercial. Oh, well, the commercial. We are waiting for the commercial right. to roll. It's okay, before yeah. we get started, <laughs> I have a riddle for you, Erica. All right. What? kind of tree can you hold in one hand? Well, this one looks a little, well, I could hold this one. Let's say a sapling. Oh, yes, that's true. But I'm going to say it's a palm tree. Damn, I know. I'm here all week. All right. Well, at least that's a good segue into showing how the Go Palm die works in more detail. Okay, so here is our block. Okay, I have to tell you that when this die came out, I thought, Ooh, this is going to be kind of complicated. Right. Because typically we make this out of foundation piecing yes. um, or use a template. No, it's not complicated oh. at and all. And you get these perfect, perfect points. Mm -hmm. And I love that it is a classic, traditional, old block, but look how modern it is. It is. And this is such, I, I just love everything about it. So we're going to show you, uh, first of all, let's go to show you the okay, die. Okay, let's look at the die. It. We've just had a lot of fun with this one. I don't know about you, but I've made quite a few palms. Yes, yes. Kind of fun. All right, so let's take a look at our die. First of okay. all, it's on a six by 24 die board, which means it's gonna fit through all of our Go cutters, including that Go Me. Yes. Screen printed letters. Yes. So this is the... These are gonna be the leaves. There we go. And this is gonna be our background. Erica got the fabric today, so I yes, I did about this. And this, it's it's directional, so we've got mirror images. Now I've got um, solids, solids here, so it doesn't matter. But if I had a print, I'd need one to be right side up and the other to be right side down. Right. Now instead, I've used my print for our background, which I think is super cool. Which should be fun. We'll lay it out and see what we think. But with this one, then, we're going to fan fold over the right. top. And fan fold means that there's a top and a bottom, a left and right. a right. Okay. All right. So all of the shapes on the die board are screen printed to help you keep track of your pieces. Yes. I love this project because it goes alphabetically. Yes. Uh, I just think yes, it does. it's always good it's to work with the alphabet. It's super fun that way. Yes. And we have specialized dog ears, so from here to here is that perfect quarter inch seam yes. every single time. Now, Erica, we have a tip. We're going to press our seams open. Yes, yes. Um, and the reason you want to do that is that there are lots of seams between mm -hmm. here. And if you press it open, you're going to get rid of some of that bulk. But you are still going to get absolutely picture perfect points every time. Now, I left the, the selvage edge on this one just so that we could see. Because you notice that these are at a slight angle. We're going to mimic that angle with our fabric on the die board to get our best cut. And the same thing with our fronds, our leaves over here. Fronds. Our palm okay. fronds. And this is the lengthwise grain. It's yep. para parallel to that salvage. Edge. That's right. Okay, so let's put our mat let's on. Let's cut some. Because nothing happens without a mat. The mat makes the magic. It does. All right, and I have to tell you that it's so easy to cut all of the pieces, right? You can yes. cut up to six layers. We only have two layers here, so you could make, uh, cut enough pieces for three blocks. You could. We're going to knock over your water bottle. We're going to knock over my tropical drink here. Yes. We're all set with our 
my tropical water there. The tropical waters. All right, give it a little love. Slide that mat. Don't lift. There you go. Okay, so like we told you earlier, it starts up at the top with A. A. I like it when the alphabet starts correctly. <laughs> It's so okay. nice that way. Do you want to pull All right. Yes, those? yes. I'll, I'll quit talking. And no, no, you're okay. I have one thread right here. I'm okay. not going to pull it. I'm just going to snip it. Because if you pull it, I don't know, bad things happen. Bad things happen. Yeah, just right there, that little string. Okay. All right. Oh, here's all of my pieces. Okay. So we're right. going to start with the A's. Yep. So here's, here's the trick. <laughs> um, typically, we sew half square triangles together right. this way. Okay, so we want to make sure that we're getting them right like that. Right like this, yep. so it makes a square. Yep. And then, oh, here, I got to move it up. Keep in mind, quilters, there's seam allowance. There are seam allowances. Now, you're also going to see on here those specialized dog ears. Okay, so is this right? Yes. Yep. No, 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 right down here. here. There we go. Okay, so the right is going to be orange. The See left how that's going to work? Yellow. Those dog ears are going to fit together. So that's how you're going to know, too, that you're in the right position. So we've got A, B, time for C. Yes, time for C. So you're going to notice that this, this is how you know. The top is going to be flat. Yes. <laughs> I just... You know, so many times we've that. learned things. We've, we've learned, learned things working things. with this block. Okay. So next, we're gonna go to D. D. Look at us using the alphabet. Using on Using the Tuesday. alphabet on a Tuesday. Yes. Okay. I took it off. And it this one's right. gonna be great because those dog ears are gonna line up perfectly mm -hmm. with the dog ears on the other side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now and again, we're we have a little seam. We have allowance. a little seam allowance here. So trust okay. us in the in the process here. All right, here's D, and remember what did I tell you? It needs to go flat on the outside. Yep. Okay. There you go. It will move in a little bit, and then we've got the last one, which is going to be up here. Yep. And you're going to see we've got this line going this way. Yeah, we'll pull it in a little so you can see. There's not that big a little gap. Yeah. There we go. Wait, and this one is gonna go right here. Mm -hmm. Are you happy? So much. Okay. You did a good job picking out our fabric. Well, it's kind of fun, kind of tropical-y. Okay. And then we're gonna finish off yep. with these two pieces. So and this is kind of a little ombre fabric, which I it kind is. of like for it the background is. there. It is very fun. Okay, so when you're sewing it together, you're gonna follow the instructions, yes. make a test block, Eric and I made a whole video on how to sew these right. pieces together. So you'll sew each side together, good for mm -hmm. chain piecing. Yes. And press. Yes. And then you're going to go ahead and sew your, sew halves, your together. halves together. So this would be a great time to use your wool mat and your little iron, have it handy, and use one of our new clappers. We love our clappers. These are so I'm good for flattening your seams. They are. And just hold it right there. Yes. All right, it's a super fun block, and we have seen it popping up everywhere in modern quilts lately. Yes. But truly, it is a classic block that has been around for a long, long time. That's right. And now that we've seen, oh, we have seen. seen how to use this die, the Go Palm die, let's hear about this block's history from the one and only Barbara Brackman. Barbara is an independent researcher who has published numerous books about quilts and quilt history. Among them are the revised encyclopedia of uh, pieced quilt patterns, which indexes public, published patterns from 1880 to 1970, and its companion computer program, Blockface Plus, which we carry on our website. That's right. Barbara is one of the founding members of the American Quilt Study Group. She writes a blog on quilt history that I love called Material Culture, so be sure to check it out. Now let's take a look at the Go Palm Block history that Barbara has to share. Hi, it's Barbara Brackman here. I'm going to give you a few minutes of quilt history here for Aggie Quilt. And we're going to talk today about the palm dye. One of my very favorite patterns, just because it's so striking. So let me get my, um, let me get my slideshow started here. 
We're going to talk about the palm leaf today. It's a redo of a guy, and it's certainly the perfect thing for perfect type of design for die cutting a quilt. It's a pattern that has a history, and that's my job is to tell you a little bit about it. Um, I know that these Pam and these guys get the patterns a lot of the time from my Encyclopedia of Peace quilt patterns. And this one's in there two ways, as just one block, the way they they cut it for you, and then as a four block where you can look at the repeat. There are many names. <clears throat> it was very popular design in the press. Uh, we're calling it Palm, and that's one of the earliest names is from the Ladies Art Company. And you can see all the names down there. Uh, for the partic this particular design. The, the, I don't know which is the earliest. You know, over on the left is the one that I consider the earliest. In the Ladies Art Company, which was a very uh, interesting pattern company from St. Louis that started publishing patterns, maybe in the 1890s, I'm not too sure, but somewhere around then, and they had a catalog of, of hundreds of quilt patterns that you could buy from them. And here we have over here the palm, they called it, and it's number 461. And they this was the 461st, which is very late in their series. So I would it might be that they got it from somebody else. Um, another option would be Ruby McKim. And this is her design. She called it Palm Leaf. And she published this in the late 20s. Uh, and I will go back a little look at her at her work with this. Many other companies published it. As I say, it was popular, at least as a publication. The only problem is I can't find a lot of historic quotes made from it. I think because it was hard to cut. And that we have solved your problem there with the die. This is one of the few I could find on the uh, quilt index, which has thousands of quilts. And this is from the New York Project. And it's the perfect 1930s quilt done in that kitchen green, we call it today. But they the company's called it Nile Green. And this prom certainly fits it nicely. I do want you to notice, though, when people were publishing this pattern, that they did they set it in four squares like this with the the fat end down here meeting in the middle and then the corners also had the larger leaf and i think that was because they did not want you to have to put all those seams in the middle they uh realized that that's the formidable part you could of course put a big fat polka dot over it which is what i always do but uh, most of the patterns that I have seen arrange it like this. And so you might consider that if, if you're worried about getting a ton of little seams meeting right in the middle is to set it this way over on the left, uh, four blocks in that fashion, which is what Lillian did too. Now, as I said, I didn't find very many of this. Here's one from the South Carolina project. And I, I think it was formidable. Uh, <clears throat> and as I said, I think it's the cutting that is the problem, not so much as the piecing. Um, and also, this woman, Marianne Branham, she wasn't working against a lot of odds because look, her fabric just wasn't that great in the 60s. You know, it just wasn't appropriate. And I mean, this is a great one and a good idea in the in the alternate shading of the background blocks. But the, that black and white polka dot, um, it was what she had. Now, I talked about Ruby McKim, and she was quite influential. She had a little pattern company in Kansas City in Independence, Missouri. And she also did patterns for the Kansas City Star. And then she syndicated patterns to other newspapers. Now, the Star, as far as I know, never published this sampler. It, it was uh, done in the Denver, I think, newspaper. And one of the patterns was down here this Nile green palm, just perfect. And she included it um, in the sampler. And then many people made the sampler. Um, you know, samplers just so, 
it's just so compelling. You start with one watch and pretty soon you're down here making palm leaves. Uh, this one belongs to Lynn Evans Miller. And, and there are quite a few of these out there made just exactly as Ruby McKim told you to do about 1930. Well, here's one woman who decided it was, it was going to be striking enough to win her a prize in a show. And she was right. In 1939, there was the World's Fair in New York, and they had a big contest, and she won it with her palm leaf. Now, she was a brave woman, and she's a great sewer. So right in the middle here, she put all those seams going together. And you can do it, too. It's, 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 if it's cut well, it'll work. So Bertha, looking very proudly over here at her $600 Quilt with six hundred dollars was a lot of money. I think he could buy a Ford sedan a couple of years earlier for four hundred. So Bertha had enough money to drive from Chicago to New York in her new Ford sedan and stay at the Waldorf Astoria. And we hope. Uh, I mean, we can see she's really enjoying herself in New York. Well. I did a couple of sketches. Uh, I have a new fabric line coming out in July. Morris Meadow, which is uh, one of my best of William Morris lines that I do with Moda. And it's full of green. So I have good, good color choices here. And so I kind of experimented around. And being brave when I'm drawing things, if maybe not sewing them, I set it with, the, with all the points in the middle. And it certainly makes a, a, a striking pattern. Now, William Morris, of course, knew very little about palm trees in England, but uh, we give him, well, we take a lot of liberties with William's fabric. And you may know that I didn't design these. I'm just really good at copying them, but I do color them. And I'm proud of the colors in this one. A lot of green and a lot of blue. And so very appropriate for, for a palm. Um, every time I talk a little about history, I also want to talk about design because I was an art teacher. And one of my favorite tricks is counter change. What's light in one area, repeated in the next, but it's reversed and it's dark. So here's two ways to, to look at the uh, counter change shading with the palm. You could do counter change in your palm, which I think is real effective light on one side, dark on the other, or you could do it with the blocks, light blocks, and then contrast them with dark blocks. And it seems to me, at first I thought, well, this is such a, a good four, four block thing um, that you wouldn't want to put sashing in there and, and disrupt the pattern. But once I tried it, I kind of liked it. In fact, this might be a very good Christmas uh, Quilt. It looks like a, a, a Christmas tree all balled up and ready to be put in your living room. So here's some ideas and with using the uh, Morris Meadow fabric. And I hope you enjoyed the little history part. And I certainly hope I see many more palm quilts than I have in the past because I think it's it's a fabulous pattern. So thanks a lot. Oh, that is fascinating. Okay, first of all, kudos to Barbara for having a fabric line. Did I you know love she, that fabric so line. Pretty. It is stunning. And my gosh, it's like it was made to go with this yes. block, isn't it? Yes, yes. And I, okay, I like the concept of the left and the right different and then yes. change the backgrounds to be light or dark. dark. Yeah. But I, my favorite is that the very end where she has the cornerstones. Yes, the sashing and the, the cornerstones. I agree with her. I wouldn't have thought that I would have liked that as much as I did. I know. But it was like my favorite. Yeah. Oh. And yes, you could do it as a Christmas tree, but you could do it either direction as a Christmas tree because you and I were both like, you but flip it over. You want to flip it over so that it's going but this way as a Christmas tree. Then the branches tree. are wrong, right? Because on a Christmas tree, yeah, the, the branches, branches go short. out. So, yeah. We've thought about We've that. Been, <laughs> that's right. All right. I always love hearing about quilt block history from Barbara because it is sure to be educational. Oh, you are taking this tropical theme so way much. to heart today. So much. All right. Well, now that we've learned more about the block, I think we should give away a Go Palm dye to a lucky viewer who registered for today's show. That's a fabulous idea. All right, quilters, our first lucky winner of a Go Palm 8 inch finished dye is drum roll, please. <laughs> 
Jesse S. of Clarksville, Virginia. Congratulations. Congratulations. How oh, funny. Oh, yes, indeed. Now, Quilter, since today's show is all about the Go Palm dye and how it's perfect for tropical themed mm -hmm. projects, we want to know, yes, and we're all tropically. I even have my tropical bracelet on. We want to know what is your favorite tropical destination? Okay, I'm so excited to see these. <laughs> okay, so let us know in the comment section wherever you stream our show. Yes, now okay. to be Pacific, I lived in the Pacific Northwest. That's yes. not exactly what you call tropical. No, though it is currently because it's 92 degrees and, in right, Seattle today. Right, which never happens. Yeah. But I have to admit, I do love the San Diego area. I love Del Mar. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, and whenever I'm in need of some vitamin C, um, I'm a huge fan of the Virgin Islands. Oh, I have I, not been there. I need, I, been. I need some tropical vacations. I need exposure to tropical places. So tell yes. me where I should be going. Okay. All right, we'll look for your comments. Now, when we first launched this die, our experts created such stunning projects with them that we couldn't resist showing them off to you again. And we're gonna start with Tammy White's stunning Go Opposites Attract wall hanging. Okay, this is so cool. It really because is. It gives that secondary look, right? With right. the circles. And how she created what she did with the sashing really created that star. Right. And it's the strip with half square triangles on the, it's just really fun. It's really cool. And that she just used a cube. Yes. I mean, I just think it's fabulous. It's really fun. I like it a lot. Okay, now Eric and I, we say this all the time. Color and color placement makes a huge difference yes. with this dye, doesn't it? Yes. Now, as wonderful as Tammy's project was, I want to take a look at another expert project from that same show. It's worth going back. You can find all of our videos. They live on our Facebook and our YouTube channel right, and our right. website. That's right. And this one is also just stunning. Now, this is Barbara Harper's palm fan wall hanging. She paired it up with not one, but two of our block on board or Bob dies. The Glow Cleopatra's fan in the four corners, right. and then the Glorify Nine patch in the center. And this is actually like art. She made it, it as is. wall art. This is and wall art. it lives art. on a palette and it's beautiful. But here's the thing that I am doing. I am currently using um, a color palette that our Modern Quilt Guild challenged us with um, for our um, event in June. So I'm using and this pattern. This pattern? With those solids. Ooh, from, and I helped you so pick pretty. those out. Those are gonna yes. be really fun. Yeah, so look at this. So those are two really cool dies that we haven't talked about in a yes. while. But Cleopatra's fan has that same look. Yes, as the yes, fun. they're a great natural. All right, quilters, don't worry. Both of these wonderful projects are available as downloads, as free patterns on our website. Yes. And now we have some fantastic samples coming up in our trunk show. But we also did do a little bit, we meaning Erica, playing <laughs> of this block in EQ8 or Electric Quilt 8 design software. So now here's one showing the secondary designs that you can create by alternating the palm block directions. So the one on the left, again, we're gonna create that cool circular design. Right. It's that ring look. And of course we've seen the block. We know there aren't any curves here, None. but it gives you that, mm, that secondary look. Yes. And then what if you take that same design and you switch the colors of half of the blocks to that pink and the two-tone pink, it gives it a whole <coughs> other look again. <coughs> and you start to see more patterns emerge. I think it's fat. This is a fascinating block. And I love the one on the right because it looks like pink lemonade. Yes, yes. Like tropical pink lemonade. And Very tropical, absolutely. I think it's fabulous. Okay. But just like we said, color makes all the difference. So here are two smaller designs with just palm blocks. But now instead of light backgrounds, we have dark backgrounds. And the one on the left is actually one of my favorite because it looks like the palm is just exploding. Right, and I was really just playing around with different ways of arranging those blocks. So look at what different looks you can get. And really that I think is probably my favorite of all of them is the one on the left. Well, and you could totally make it colorways to look like fireworks. Yes. Right? Yes. And then the one on the right, 
we've taken and made opposite blocks different colors. Mm -hmm. But that dark background is probably my favorite. Yeah, yep, I agree with you. I really like how that came out. So another way to change up the look of a block and to open up even more creative options is setting that block on point. We saw right. Barbara doing that in some of we did. the designs that she showed. So setting that block on point seems complicated, but it's really easy when you use our Go setting triangle. So we've got some fabric cut here. Right. So let's talk about this die because this die Setting triangles, it's all about lengthwise grain, right? It is, you wanna treat it like, um, it's not a strip die, don't be doing that. So measure from here to here, rough cut, mm -hmm. cut all of your pieces. We have setting triangles in seven sizes that match the seven sizes yes. of cubes. So uh, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10 and 12. There is no seven inch cube there, no, it's not coming out. I just say it <laughs> all the time. She just says it all the time. But there are sides and corners, so let's yes. so let's play, play with our blocks yeah, a little here, bit. Let's grab a couple. Okay, I cut out enough so we could play. Okay, so we're going to set them on point. So if we were setting this on point and it was just living on, if we're setting a, a whole series of them on point, we'd put corners on the corners. Here, I'll let you put that one up, and then the side setting triangles are going to fit right here right here and then right you, here yeah and then you don't have y seams and look how stunning that is boy the black really sets them off right. doesn't and so it so different so here's the palm die mm -hmm. or the palm block but the minute we put it on point it totally changes everything up that's right i'm going to tell you that if you're getting this die or if you already have this die so many of our blocks finished eight inches, you really want those eight inch setting triangles. That's right. And if you just want the block set off by itself, so if you really want to frame it out, then you would use four of those corner pieces yes. and put them on all the sides yes. to really a frame table, it out. A table runner that is, right. we'll show you in the trunk show. So that would really make a, a substantial block mm -hmm. and you that's just fun. Yeah. I love that. All right, I'm gonna need to go on vacation so I can get some home projects made. <laughs> I agree with you. In fact, I think we should give away another Go Palm die so someone else can join us on our little, uh, we need a tropical retreat. We do. A tropical quilting retreat, I that. like that. All right, the second lucky winner of a Go Palm eight inch finish die is, drum roll please. Karen T. of St. Paul, Minnesota. Congratulations, Karen. St. Paul, not a tropical destination. Not a tropical you're destination. love this guy. All right, now, while you're jumping on and telling us all about your favorite tropical destinations, we want to share some special new embroidery designs that are perfect for the summer sea sun. Okay, Erica has kept me from these new designs. I've kept her from these. So she I really wanted them to for see the them. first time. Okay. Okay, so first up, Okay, first of all, I just love the name. This is the Go Beach Bum Gnome by our good friends at V-Stitch. Oh my gosh, here, let's Okay, let's put it down here. All right, Pam wants it oh down here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't this the cutest? This is super cute. This is super cute. Um, this reminds me of Justin T down in our Lincoln yeah. facility. <laughs> I'm gonna make him one. Yes. Look, and he has a pineapple drink. He has drink. a pineapple drink with a little straw. He's got his towel. We've got, he's built a sand castle. This is fantastic. Oh, this might be my new favorite one. Cause well, so far I've loved like the zookeeper guy. Okay. Hang on, cause here's one that's gonna be a new favorite too. This is the Go Beach Flamingo oh, 3 oh embroidery, gosh. also by V-Stitch Designs. Oh my gosh, it has a floaty. It has a floaty on. I love on. it. I and love a palm. It. And a palm. Tree. And sunnies. And little crabs. Oh, Isn't that okay. Cute? This is super cute. Our good friends at V Stitch are just so amazing. But the creative crew at Specialty Designs have been busy too because they've brought us the Go Surfing Penguin okay. embroidery. <laughs> Which I think is hilarious. <laughs> this it looks like it should be cute. wearing our shirts, you he know? He should, he should, he totally. Again, we have sunnies and look at the little splash water. The little splash water. I love it. Now, not to be outdone, we have the Go Beachy Penguin. Oh my gosh. So, so you're gonna cut a circle. Right. Out of our circle die mm -hmm. and then you're gonna, but look, ice cream. Ice cream and again, 
Got palms. a palm tree. And sunnies. And sunnies. I love the heart-shaped sunnies. I do. It just, I it do just love kills them a me. lot. I do love them a lot. Now, if you want something without a critter on it, here we go. This is the oh. Go Fun in the Sand. Fun okay. in the Sand Embroidery Special. This is the Summer Medley, yeah. The medley die. We haven't seen pail, it in a minute. With the pail and, and the, the shovel. shovel. And the sand and the little Nautilus. Yeah. I like this one a lot. All right, we got one more. And it's the Go It's Summertime Embroidery Special Design. Oh my design. gosh, look at how cute this is. Isn't with this adorable? From the Summer Medley. Summer Medley again. Yeah. With Flip the words. Flops are my shoe of summer. Yes. Yes. By hands down, by far. I can't. Okay, I don't like the thing between my toes. Oh no, I gotta have flippy flops. Oh, that's so fabulous. Aren't those fun? Oh my gosh. All right, any of these would be a great addition to a project using the gold palm die. And you can always alternate palm blocks with eight inch finish blocks to make the go square eight and a half, eight inch finish die. Or you can make up some cute uh, four patch blocks from the eight inch cube to open up some area for these yes. adorable designs. Aren't they cute? Okay. So think about <laughs> think about like beach bags, yes. and totes, and how fun would that be to have a big beach, beach bag, bag or a with... beach blanket? Yes, to the beach. Listen, if you live on a coast, you need to own this diet. Doesn't matter if it's the west coast or the east coast, right? Because you need to be making a beach a quilt. beach quilt. Oh, absolutely. And then invite Eric and I to come yes. beach with you. So I, I'm liking this tropical quilting retreat concept. Yeah, we got to work on that. Yeah, yeah. All right, now since we talked about our beachy new embroidery already, let's get into today's trunk show and show off some brand new palm projects that you can make. It, he's just Does so he cute. not look like Justin T? He does look like Justin T. Okay. You're welcome, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. First of all, we have the Palms at Night Wall Hanging by Bea Lee of Bea Quilter. This is a fun weekend project. This it is. This will be super fun as a beach quilt. Yes. This okay. just make several of these units yes. right here. Yes. That would be so fun. So Bea's, Bea's used our 8-inch cube to right. make some of those alternate blocks. And then I love the concept of the... Uh, palms with those corners in different in the yellow. Look how what a difference this makes in the whole block by using that color. It almost yeah. makes it look like a little flower, or a flashlight, or a flashlight because <laughs> it is go palms at night. It is, and that's Michael Miller fabric in that one. All right. Okay. Next we have the go palm flower bouquet wall hanging by our good friend Marianne Fontana. Okay, we're going to start with showing you the back of this one because this is super fun fabric and it's going to translate around into the front. It's pixelated, right? Yes. Is that what that's called, guys? Yes. Okay. All right, here, hold on, I'll stand back here. So this is the Go Palm Flower Bouquet Wall Hanging. It's by Marianne Fontana of Fontana Originals. And Marianne's used Free Spirit Fabrics on this. And one of our favorite dyes that both Eric and I have made projects with them last year, that is Go Winding Waste. Yes. So and fun. when you look at it closely, it's, it's like a granny square block. It is. On some of those. But prints. it looks like. They're like little quilt box. Uh -huh. I'm loving that. That. that is fun. All right. Okay, remember that. All right, next up, we've got our Go Modern Palm Wall Hanging by Gina Jempasaw of Gem Hill Quilts. Tails. Now, Gina's used Hoffman fabrics here. Look how different this looks from everything else that we've already looked at, right? Okay, and I think it looks like dragons. Spikies. It does have that dragon spiky look. It's super cute though. And putting the sashing, the chunky sashing and cornerstones makes such a difference in how it looks. Okay, I want to spend the day with Gina because she comes up with completely different looks. She does. Patterns, she does. She, she's a very modern quilter. She is. And I this is this just super lot. fun. We'll take her on our tropical quilting retreat. She would go with us. With us. So would. would Terry Vandenbosch. Yes. All of our people. Yes. Oh, speaking of Terry Vandenbosch, look at the how oh, segue yeah. that was. It's behind us. It's called the Go Pinpoint Wall Hanging. And this is by Terry. She's Lizard Creek Quilting. Yep. She's used Andover Fabrics. This is the pattern that's on the packaging for this dye, isn't it? Yep. Eric it's and I so showed fun. you how to make it. I and just I love, love it, it. How the pieces all line up together because you're so in perfect quarter inch seams. Terry, one of the things I really enjoy about this quilt is she just like did little stippling quilting. Just back and forth. 
but it's diff Nothing it alternates do. between the squares. It's super fun. Okay. I love that one. Okay, the next one is the Palm Fire Throw Quilt. And this is by Susie Webster of Webster Quilts. This is one of our favorites from this release. And um, this was a project that we showed you how to sew a block Oops. on a Wednesday. One of our IQ Quilt Lives. Now, there are so many things to love. For one thing, it does totally look like fire to me. It does, and I really enjoy the gray background. It's set it's on point. Dark, it's not light. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. used a narrow sashing and small corner stones. And the quilting on this is to die for. Yeah, this is just really a fast weekend project. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say I can sew a palm block in 10 minutes. Okay. Right? So you just chain piece and chain just piece. chain piece, yeah. Yeah. And press. press Don't forget press the pressing part. Open. Don't forget the pressing part. Well, I jumped on to Go Quilt and played around a little bit with some yeah. color variations. So let's look at some different colors for the same pattern. Okay, the one in the center is my favorite by you know, far. Mine too, mine too. I like, the, I like the one with the blues and the pinks. They kind of made me think of tulips for some reason, yes. even though they were, tulips don't have blue leaves. No. But I just liked them. They just look pretty. Yeah. And the one on the far right is pretty for Christmas. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. But that one in the center with the oh. red and black, there no, we are. Does. We no, focus, we would, we, 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 this is what happens when we're focusing. We can get six more inches closer. Okay, next we have the Go Palm Oasis throw quilt oh. by our good friend Ellen Alt of Handmade 3D. And, and this is huge. a big quilt, so and Pam. I love the fact that Ellen used this periwinkle color. I love this, oh, I love this color so much. And she's used Hattie's Choice. So look at what she's done. Here's our Hattie's Choice. She's put two inch finished strips around it to build into these palm blocks to frame it out. I just, I love it so much. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. So fun. This and is Robert colors. Kaufman fabric. This in would this. be a perfect beach. Well, this is your beach quilt right here. This is, here. Quilt. This is your beach these quilt. These colors, because yes. it's not beachy blue. It is very beachy blue. Oh, right I do here. like that one. Thank you, Ellen Alt, for making us a beach quilt. It was really hard for me to change the colors because I love these colors yes. so much. But let's take a look at okay. what I came up with. Okay, so the one on the left is, is fun, but I'm loving the one in the center. Well, I was trying to make it folly, but you know what? I just love the autumnal. Autumnal, there we go. I love the red, black, and white the best. Actually, what I love the most is the one that Ellen made. The one that Ellen made is the best. Yeah. And, but uh, we're getting ready for football season here in Nebraska. Oh, yeah, right? that would be so a great the one. one in the center, go Huskers. Maybe Brock will make Easter. that one. Brock, will you make that one for us? No. Brock says no. <laughs> the one on the Easter one is super cute too. All right, and then we've got one more, and it's the table runner in front of oh, us. Here. This is the Go Palms table runner. It's by Mitzi Red of Red Homestead. And these are the four corners. Those are the four corners from the setting triangle die. Yeah. And that's how you really build that out. But by putting opposite color, you know, changing yeah. up the colors, it makes it look like it's in the middle of a signature block. And these are like, when you think of like Miami Beach, these are total right. vintage Miami colors yeah. to me. Yeah, I love it. All right, but I think you made some variations. I did, so I changed up the colors a little oh, bit. Yeah. I went with holiday, so we went with patriotic. Okay, it's kind, kind of, of fun. Kind of fun, it kind of looks like the, the stitching on baseballs. Oh, I didn't think about it because but, I'm not really a baseball person, but you're right, it does. Yeah, it's cute. And the one in the center obviously is for Christmas. And I think it looks like Christmas cactus. It does look like a Christmas cactus. Right? Yes. But the one on the right you made for me, didn't I you? I made for Pam with halloween -y kind of fabric with orange and purple and green and black. And yeah, so pretty. I think that one was my favorite one. Uh, yes. Yes. And so applique some like ghouls and stuff on it. Add a, add a ghost or a bat or two yeah, and just pumpkins. really zhuzh it up. <laughs> all right. Besides the new colorways using Go Quilt, all of these patterns are available as free downloads on AccuQuilt's website. So be sure you download your patterns before your die arrives. That way you'll be ready to go. I want to see all the beach quilts. All the beach quilts. 
it's only, what month is this? May. May, you've yeah, got plenty of beachy time oh, ahead of plenty you. Plenty of time before the beachy season. Absolutely. Now that you've seen this trunk show, let's share two fabric selections from our friends at Free Spirit that have provided for a giveaway. So we have a new thing. Um, Eric and I are not allowed to see fabric. We are not allowed to see the fabric beforehand. But, and we were sneaking peeks of it off to the side. So it now, it, we now have a fabric mailbox. Though I feel like set. we should cut out some two inch. We'll cut out some letters for it because we've got dies for that. Okay, you're right. All right, I'm ready. Okay. I'm just a little nervous. <laughs> That's like okay. something They know might... we're on live, so okay. they wouldn't put anything scary in there. Well. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go like this. See, open it away from me. Oh my gosh. Oh, look. Well, look at this How fun is fabric. this? This is from Free Spirit. You would have this seen it is. in. It's um, very similar, similar to, to, this one is very similar to what we saw earlier in the trunk show. Look at this. Oh. flowers. Cone flowers. And this is like the orange peel. Mm -hmm. I love this. This is super fun. Erica, these are your colors. These Damn, are the these color are blue of your and purple. They are the color of, <laughs> the colors of my life. Blue and yeah. purple. Look at oh that. My okay, goodness. they say we have to give it away though. Okay, well, all right. The winner of the first selection of fabric that I will begrudgingly send your way yes. is, drum roll please. It's Kathy Kay from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Congratulations. And the winner of the second selection of fabric is, drum roll please. Kathy H of Junction City, Oregon. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, these are lovely. I bet these are like yard cuts. They are yard cuts. Ooh. No, you can't have them, but we have to give them away. Okay. Well, a big shout out to Free Spirit Fabric for sponsoring today's show. I know our quilters are going to love making their palm projects with this fabric. It is lovely. It's beautiful. All right, quilters, the time has come. We asked your favorite tropical destinations. Oh, yes. And it's time to hear what you had okay, to say. Okay, let's see. Uh, Morgan, who works on our team, lives in St. Petersburg, Florida, um, her backyard. And I have to agree, I love St. Petersburg. Oh, Lauren from our, our says, team. Yep. Our team says Jamaica. There we go. I'm going to put that on my list, Lauren. And Blair from our team says Wailea Bay in Hawaii. Oh, yeah, she put a picture up. That she was did. Me. She she did. Peggy W. says Aruba. I've not ever been to oh, Aruba. I haven't been okay. to Aruba. Uh, Dan Bercy can go with you to San Diego. Okay, good. Good. Yep. And Rose, I've been to Myrtle Beach. I have to agree, Myrtle Beach is a beautiful yeah. place. Yeah. Um, Net A says Montego Bay. And Carolyn um, says loves all the Hawaiian islands. Oh, and she said Maui in particular. Yeah. yeah. Teresa T says, how do you say that? Palua. Palua in the South Pacific. Okay. And Medora wants to go to Palm Cove, Australia. Ooh. We should go there. Very nice. Yeah. Barbara L. went on a sewing cruise to the Caribbean with no pirates. I, I'm in. I'm there. I'm in. That's how I can get there. We need a, we need a quilting cruise. <laughs> we do. Uh, Karen S. is Fiji, which is great. Justin K. here in the studio says Bora Bora. And this is the best one. The Beach Boys say Kokomo. <laughs> okay, my good friend Paige lives in Kokomo, Indiana. Hey, Paige, how are you? All right, quilters, we have got tons of great deals available for you today on our website, so don't miss them. You want to seize the day and take advantage of them. Just one more. Just one more. Just to get your order in, open a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party to go to the site, see the offers, and place your orders. Now, today is the final day to earn double AccuQuilt reward points on an order no code even needed. Plus, if you are an AQ Circle Plus member, you will get free shipping if you live in the contiguous US on any AccuQuilt order. That's right. Well, it is time for us to either pack our bags to go on a tropical quilting retreat or more likely, get ready for the next event. We hope that today's tropical show was just what you needed to inspire you for your next palm project. See you next time. Thanks for watching our show. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel and look for live events every Tuesday and Wednesday. You can visit the events page on AccuQuilt's website for more details on upcoming shows. And while you're there, check out the blog for tips, tricks, tutorials, and inspiration galore. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more.
Enter your email to sign up for notifications for upcoming events. Signing up for our events means you're entered to win a door prize that we'll give away during the show, so you'll want to tune in to see if you won. And be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. We have tons of fun. Tomorrow we're making a project using the Go Double Wedding Ring Dive. That's right. And join us every Tuesday here at 12 noon Central Time for more launch parties and trunk shows. These events are filled with tips, tricks, and inspiration. Next time we'll be having a red, white, and blue trunk show for Memorial Day. We're excited to share these projects with you. 